Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together this square shaker three tier box, which is a box with three different gift boxes once you open inside. It's also called a secret box by many. So this is one of the many uh, free SVG files that we have is Simply Crafty FCGs. Um, this is my take on the what many call the secret box. Um, it's a three tier um, when you open it, there's three, you saw the preview of it, there's uh, three boxes when you open it. So when you open the box, take the lid off, it opens to three separate boxes, which will be these pieces right here. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. Um, and we, we have a, on this particular one, I added a shaker lid. I don't do a lot of shakers. Um, one of my first that I'm doing uh, on my actual shop. So. Um, so first we'll put these together and then we'll show you how to put them in, attach them to the box piece and then the lid with the shaker. And these are the panels. So the, they're um, layered panels and you could use one or many or none. So it'll be like that for the lid edge. And then on top of the lid we also have um, these two panels and the sides each have uh, panels as well. So it's all optional of course. But it's just a fun little project if you've never tried one. And I tried one for fun, and that's why I made it a, um, a free file. It took me a while. And um, we also have two cutout pieces of acetate, which is really for me, I'm using transparency um, that I had just extra ones from a long, long time ago. But um, you could also get clear window. Either you buy it as acetate, or you can um, cut things like plastic on packaging to make these things and cut them out. So that's up to you. And then I'll show you this piece. So first we're going to put these together and they all go together the same. So there's three different boxes. So let me move this to the side. Now there's three different boxes. One has two scalloped edges and the other two have three scalloped edges. Um, this one will go in a corner where it glues on two sides and these will only glue on one side So you don't want a whole lot of heavy things in there like really small chocolates or something like that Or a gift card or something like that. I don't even know if a gift card would fit. We'll double check um, So all you have to do and they all, they all glue the same so it doesn't matter regardless of whether how many it really the scalloped edges are just um only like the placement of those particular boxes, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to show you how to put together one on camera. So if you put together lids like this, you're just going to glue, make sure these are all folded on the score lines, and then glue the tabs on the inside like that. So all four sides to make a little box. So let's go ahead and put it together. So what's handy is to have some clothespins. You can hold it, so I'm just lining it up so that fold lines up to the adjacent edge. And if I have extra glue as I squeeze it out, I have a little paper, what, damp paper towel that I can use to wipe my fingers or get excess glue off. So I usually have one handy for every project I do, and if it gets too messy, I do another one. So we'll do this other side. So another method of, you don't want to hold it in place for a long time. Um, I tend to because I want to make sure that it d doesn't get many gaps. You could use something like a clothespin. After, just make sure it's set first. But usually when you use a clothes, or I do, it's either you're going to put it where you want it to hold it. So if you want it at the top, put it towards the top. If you want it towards the bottom, put it at the bottom. And they have clothes pins that are a little bit bigger. But um, So I'm just going to hold it so it doesn't open there. So typically I do two sides, and if I do use the clothes pins, because I don't always use them, um, I'll do two sides, I'll do two tabs at a time, and then take those off and do the other two. So that's typically how I use them. 
It depends on whether it's a time constraint. I'll never use them really consistently. See, I'm consistently on videos like this because I want to make sure that all skills of folks can put together my files, especially the free files. I do have some more advanced files that might not be suitable for a newbie. Notably, uh, you could do it if you do it slow, but it, it could be frustrating. Something like the Venus flytrap or the um, the trucks. The trucks can get a little bit difficult if you've never done. So a little bit more advanced 3D ones. But most of them, um, if you watch our videos, you can get through them. I mean, for the majority of ours have videos. So like that, you're just going to put together all three of these. Like that. And then we can go ahead and um, glue them into the the box structure. Okay, so I already put some of the panels on. So I only put them on this one, the one with the tab. Um, there's a reason for that, because this one, go ahead, has cut marks in it. So this is the way it would cut. And there's two cut marks there and two cut marks there to help us place the inside boxes. So when I flip it over, I actually made the marks so you could see them on the inside because we'll be using the inside marks. It cuts all the way through, but we only need them really on the inside. Um, and these panels will hide them on the outside. So we're not gonna, we're not worried about them showing on the outside. Um, but what we are worried about is getting this the right way because if you cut it out, you could put it that way or that way. And it makes a difference. So when you just have a, um, oh, I didn't have my ruler here, but I just had it. Oh, here it is. So if you'll notice, this is bigger. So that's a little bit over 1.25. And this is a little bit less than 1.25. So you want the one with the less space on the bottom. And why that's important is because when we glue it together, we'll glue it like that. So these will be on the bottom. So just go ahead, flip it over, make sure you have the right way, and we'll glue it like this. So we'll do that right now. And I'll explain how to attach this, because literally all it is is gluing it, putting it underneath the panel before you glue the panel down. And that's so we can tie it shut. So I didn't talk about, you can use twine or ribbon. I'm sure this is, some of these are not new to people. It's just my own take on it. So I made sure it's the right way. So this is, um, I'm going to say it again and again, this has got less space, that's got more space. And the reason there's more space on the top is to account for the thickness of the shaker. So we're just lining this up to the tab fold there. And I know you can barely see that line um, on the on the version that you will see, the line will be a little bit further in. So that's another way you'll know um, you're doing the right side because this dash will be over here somewhere. So so I already fixed that, but I already cut it, so I just don't want to waste the paper. So now let's go ahead and add the rest of the panels. So we'll just glue these on. Just center it on. So once I had those together, I, I could glue over or cover those cut lines. I just wanted to explain that. And then we'll go ahead and just, you just center that like that. And then we'll center this one. I just haven't glued it yet. It's always handy to have, that's like a, a great size when you're doing little projects. So I have lots of freebies um, if you want to try before you buy. I try to do a freebie. I used to do the freebie um, twice a month, but I find 
with current busy life, it's gotten harder for me to get the designs out of out one, two, and get freebies, but sometimes I do more than one, one a month, but lately I have not. And this is in 2022. So when you get to the edges, so the right and left edge, you're going to want to put, um, so it's going to fold around like this to close. So you pretty much want to glue it in a similar place. So I'm just going to put it like that so I can see where it's, where it's at. Let's go ahead and add glue to this. You could use score tape too. In fact, let me just um, do that really quick. I'll use score tape to, to um, tape it down. I like score tape because I can just uh, tear it. It's double sided tape. So I'm going to take the other piece, and yes, these are way too long, but I'm going to line it up so it's kind of like in the same position as the other side. Just put it down like that. It's going to be flatter if it's a, it's a ribbon. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim this so we don't have too much, uh, uh, too much of a lumpy panel there. And my glue almost dried, so I may have to do a little reapplying. And this is, I don't know if I mentioned yet, um, I don't think I did, but I'm using Barely Art glue for this project. Um, that is not my only preferred glue. See, I'm just putting this right over it. My other glue that I like to use is Art Glitter Glue. Just right now I'm using, I like them both. They're so similar. Um, slightly different, so if you do try the other one over the other, you will notice a slight difference. In my opinion, this was a little bit wetter. It was it's, it was just slightly different. It wasn't much different, but the drying time is similar, everything. So now we have these sides. So I already told you this is the, the bottom part right here, and that's the top. So we'll go ahead, we'll do the lid um, after. So these are the lid pieces, so let's go ahead and just layer this really quick. So this just layers like this. So these little scallops will line up with the scallops inside. I'm just going to lightly add glue, being careful not to get too close to the edges here. Tried to make this box flexible if you didn't want multiple layers you just use one. So th remember these there isn't an even um, edge around both this particular panel. This one goes in the middle. Originally I was thinking I might, and you can do that, you can put the shaker on the outside, um, but I decided I liked it better on the inside. So that's for the lid. So now we have um, the pieces that we need to put in. So I usually do not use score tape on my boxes and all that, but sometimes it's okay. Now, this would be a good application for it. Um, it's something that's going to be gifted, but I, I tend not to use it because I feel like uh, glue is stronger overall when it, it dries, it, it's stronger. So we're going to use glue on these ones because they're only one side's going to be attached for these. If it were a hexagon, I would have done it quite different, but with the square, I'm going to attach the one with the two scallop edges is the bottom box. So we're going to attach it where the scores are, the score tape is, to this and this. So it's going to start from the right, and then we're going to line it up to the bottom. So that's why I put the score tape on this. And if you are in the U.S., I don't know other countries, but we have Dollar Tree, and they're um, carrying things that are economical to get if you don't have tools. So this is a little pick tool, which, because I have no nails, I have a bad habit of tearing them and biting them, and I try not to, but it doesn't matter what you say. Um, but they're good to get this kind of stuff off, because I plainly, just to get the paper off double-sided tape. It's 
It's I, the reason I like it is because it's so small. Well, you just have to be careful because the plastic top's not very good. But you could always put like an eraser or something like that. So let's go ahead. And if you are using, uh, since I never use uh, double-sided tape, like at least on camera, one of the reasons I don't is because you really have to place it correctly the first time. So I'm going to line, so there's two sides. This side's going to go here, this side's going to glue here. So I'm going to line this, I'm going to fold this up like this. I want this edge to go into the corner here. And I'm going to line it up on the bottom first. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to get it lined up first there. Let's apply pressure. Remember this is the one with two scalloped edges. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this up and line it up on the bottom edge again. So you can see already we just need to place the other two boxes. So that's what those lines are for. So we want to glue the side that um, does not have a scallop edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and add glue carefully to this. And we're going to line the bottom edge up of this side to the line up with these. And you can go it slightly over it if for some reason you um, you just need to make sure it's in this section. But if for some reason you didn't want to see the lines and you marked them like I did, you just have to make sure that that'll fold up and that folds. So you just need to make sure these are not overlapping any of the fold folded areas. So once you get it in place, go ahead and apply pressure here. So this is the benefit of glue. I know that there's tape, double-sided tape, that's really strong, so if you're using that, that would probably work too. So the third one, let's get this out of my way. Again, put glue on the side without a scallop. And so the, these little cut lines, which are guidelines, tell you, give you the spacing that's needed so they don't hit each other. So again, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to just see it from the side. I know I have a little shadow here. Oops. I'm making sure that it's not over the, the score over here. So you just kind of make sure it folds. And I can see it's not to the um, edge here, right there. I have some space. So you could go all the way to the edge if you really wanted to, but just need to make sure you don't go over. So that was a little crooked, but it should be okay. Let me see if I can adjust it. I still have plenty of room. So that's what you want to make sure that these are good and glued. If you have a gap like that, let me show you right here. There's a small gap. Um, I could always add a little bit more glue and apply additional pressure just to make sure that's in place. So I just added glue on that little edge. So now you can see we have this, a lot of people call them secret boxes, but I'm calling it a three-tier box. So when it closes, we'll have a lid to help keep it closed and then you can tie this. Now I obviously made these too big, but I'm not good at making bows, so um, for me that's just something I need to do. So we have this box part done. Let's go ahead and do the lid. Okay, so we've gone ahead and put the the panels on for, for the lid edges. So now we're just going to glue it like we did the um, little boxes. We're just going to glue these little tabs on the inside. 
Oh, and if you want to put this on top, you can do this now. Um, it's, it's really up to you. Let me show you what it looks like on the other side. So it, you can try to center it best you can. It'll be like that. So what it's going to do is hide the edge of the shaker portion. So let's go ahead and do that now just to make it easier for this to put together. But you could put it on later if you wanted to. This way I don't have to worry about any um, glue getting on the acetate, the window. But you want to kind of make sure it's centered. You want to double check. Let's go ahead and flip it over real quick. Looks fine. I, have, I guess I have to jiggle it that way just a little bit. Because what's fun, you could actually put candy in the top one or um, a gift card. And I have like a little mock gift card that you can put in there. It will fit in the box. I, I double checked. So it'll fit sideways in the box like that. So you'll be able to see it through the shaker components. Or if you don't want to put a shaker, you can just do a window. So you know, this, this box is flexible. I just thought it would be fun to do a shaker. I haven't done one. So let's go ahead and glue these on the inside. I'm just going to do one. I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole thing. So you want to just make sure you line up that edge to the tab fold. And then we're just going to glue all these four tabs inside. So this and there, this, this. And honestly, um, it might be easier for you to do the shaker part now. I didn't think about that until just now. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we won't have these in the way. So I apologize for that, but sometimes I, I have an epiphany. At first I was going to show you by putting it together and then just sticking it in there. But I have a feeling this is just going to be easier to put glue on while it's still open. So let's go ahead and... Add glue here on the inside. So now we're doing the shaker component. The other you, option you have, so I'm just doing a thin uh, layer of glue, but you could put a, um, a solid color in here if you didn't want to have a window or, um, or like a pattern paper. That's it. But anyways, you could put paper there if you want a solid box top. That's the way you could quickly do it, or you could just make it a solid top in your software. There's a way to get rid of uh, openings in different software. So, so I tried to center that best I could. And then what I'm going to use are these little thin, thin strips, which are foam tape that I got on Amazon, and it just makes it easier for me to um, line the edges. So there's lots of different methods of doing shakers. This is just one method. So you could double it how tall it is or just make it one. So I'm just going to take one of these off. So it's, it's foam tape. It's just really thin strips. This is why I thought it would be easier. So I'm going to try to go along the edge here. And I'm going to have to cut it. Little, little bit here. I want it to be a little bit longer so the other piece will meet it. I'm just going to go like that. If I have to trim it more, I will. And I'm going to put that extra little piece there. Do the same on all four sides. So make it a little longer so it's not just the size of the just a little bit longer on both sides here. And then we'll try to fit a small piece in there. So if you want to do, there's, like I said, there's several methods of making thick thickness for um, a shaker. You could use regular foam tape too and just do the same thing. These are just really thin. You could cut a regular one and, and just thinly. You don't have to go and buy one. And I don't want to um, size them. I could fit them in, but I don't want to do that. 
I'm gonna save them for another project so they won't get white wasted. I mean, if you have other ways you like to do it, you can always uh, comment below. Some people, this is, I tried several ways and I decided on this method just for this particular project. So now I'm just gonna take all these off, all the edges off. Um, and, uh, but before that, let's, I, and, and it does work. This is an anti-static bag. And I'm just gonna wipe it around the edges and what this is is to help it so it doesn't the little things that I put inside don't cling to the sides as much so now let me um, take the, the little papers off so if you do like this project I always ask if you could give me a little uh, thumbs up a like on our video and if you haven't already subscribed, you can always subscribe. And if you do subscribe, if you hit that notification button to the right, you'll be notified when we have new videos, projects, that kind of thing. So definitely easier without putting the lid together first. Let me get rid of that so it's out of our way. So now I'm going to add the little shaker things I decided to add in there. They're sticking to the side effect of doing that, trying to get them in the middle. I think that's enough. It's up to you. And if you want it, if you want bigger components in there that shake, you can go always um, double stack your foam tape to a higher thickness. Um, but like I said, there's other ways of doing it as well. I, I think that's enough. I pulled that much aside, but to me it looks like enough. So I'm going to have to make the judgment call. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put this piece over. To close it in. Just make sure you don't get it anywhere where it would hinder it folding on the edge. And so now you can see... Just, and so you could see through it, but you still kind of have some fun element to the box. And you can do this with any box. I found, found I found a, I don't like to cut my own tape, so I actually like this really thin tape. But I have a link in the product description um, if you want to go check it out, which is, again, this is a freebie. So I'm going to put this on here, and all I'm doing is making it's just cleaning up the look on the inside and just make sure again that it clears the edges so now we can glue the rest of the lid together so that's what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of these in and um, then i'll show you the final box so here's the final box and i'm not having trimmed this off but let me go ahead and do that now so i just tied it and um, I might make it a smaller tie, but the the thing about this is normally these are I gotta get a sharper scissor. Over time, your scissors become a little bit. Um, I may still trim those, but let's just to say I have it trimmed to the side, so um, I have a little bow here, and probably will trim a little bit. But you could put a little birthday message or something like that. But you can see the shaker box and you can kind of see what's inside. So if you put something inside it, it just gives it a fun em um, element and then you can untie it and you don't necessarily need the tie. That's the nice part about this. The lid kind of holds it shut pretty well. So I want to just carefully untie this. It's my fault because I don't want it to fray here. So, I mean, obviously this would be a gift, so you wouldn't really care about being too careful. Um, this twine kind of frays down there, so. Um, see, it says congrats, can you see that in there? 
So if I open this up, there's a lid. And I can go like this and see that sits at an angle that's the size of a, a gift box, a gift card. And then you would have different things in each box. So let me put it sideways so you can see it better from the side. So when they open it, oh my god. So I know it's like not the most unique project out there. Again, you can, just the shaker fun, fun part, I just try to find a couple fun things. And if you didn't want to tie it shut, you can see it stays fairly, uh, shut fairly well just that way. So that's an option as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this project. And remember, this is a freebie at Simply Crafty SVGs. And thank you for watching.